OpenAI's new feature, Canvas, is a game-changer for AI writing and coding enthusiasts. It's not just a minor update, but a significant shift in how we collaborate with AI, especially for complex projects. We have analyzed demos and behind-the-scenes details to bring you a comprehensive breakdown. While ChatGPT excels at simple tasks like writing emails or generating basic code, it often struggles with longer, more intricate projects. OpenAI recognized this limitation and developed Canvas, moving beyond the traditional chat interface. Canvas introduces a side-by-side -side window approach, creating a shared workspace for you and the AI. You can generate text or code directly in Canvas, highlight specific sections for AI focus, and receive suggestions, edits, or complete rewrites. This new interface allows for more nuanced interaction and collaborate on complete rewrites when needed. Canvas bridges the gap between human creativity and AI capabilities, streamlining the process for more complex, long-form projects. Canvas is shaking things up for ChatGPT users. Right now, it's in beta for Plus and Teams subscribers. If you're on Enterprise or Edu plans, you'll get your hands on it next week. Don't worry if you're on the free tier, you'll get access once it's out of beta. For now though, you'll need one of those paid plans to play with it. So how do you fire up Canvas? It's pretty slick, folks. You can pick GPT-4 with Canvas from the model options, or ChatGPT will spot when you might need Canvas and pop it open for you. Say you're diving into a long piece of writing or tackling some tricky code, Canvas will show up ready to help. Or, if you're feeling impatient, just type, use Canvas in the chat. Now, for all you writers out there, this is where things get really cool. OpenAI's Daniel Levine showed off how Canvas handles emails. Instead of dumping text in the chat, it opens up in this nifty Canvas window. And that's when the fun begins. If you think your email's too long, no need to worry. There's this slider that lets you shrink it down or beef it up. Want to make a sentence friendlier? Just highlight it and ask ChatGPT to jazz it up. You can even throw in some emojis if that's your style. And if you suddenly need your masterpiece in French, boom, Canvas can translate it right there. They've added this final polish option. It's like having a eagle-eyed editor on speed dial. It checks your grammar, makes sure everything flows, and gets your draft ready for prime time. Working on something meatier, like a blog post, Canvas has got your back. It'll suggest tweaks, point out where you could improve, and can even rewrite whole chunks if you're stuck. And don't stress about messing up your original. You can flip between different versions of your text like a time-traveling editor. Now, let's dive into how Canvas is a game-changer for coders. Trust me, this is where it really flexes its muscles. We've all been there, right? Using ChatGPT for quick coding fixes or whipping up some API code. But let's face it, it's been a bit clunky for bigger projects. Well, Canvas is about to change all that. Picture this. You generate some code, and bam, it pops up in the Canvas window. Want to add comments? There's a button for that. They've thrown in this Review Code button. ChatGPT will eyeball your entire script, pointing out bugs or suggesting tweaks. Need to add logs? Done. More comments? Easy. Got a stubborn bug? Canvas has got your back. And here's something wild. You can port your code to a different language. Turn your Python into JavaScript or your PHP into Java. Whether you're a seasoned dev or just starting out, Canvas is about to make your coding life a whole lot easier. And dare I say, more fun. Let's talk about how Canvas is shaking up the whole AI game. This isn't just about coding, it's about reinventing how we work with AI. But Canvas, it's taking all that back and forth and turning it into one smooth process. It's like the difference between sending a letter and having a face-to-face -face conversation. All right, let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture here. OpenAI is not the only player in this game. Anthropic dropped their artifacts a few months back, and Google's Gemini is cooking up something similar. It's like a high-stakes race to build the ultimate AI workspace. And honestly, it's pretty darn exciting to watch. Here's a juicy bit of behind-the-scenes drama for you. Some of the brains behind Canvas? They're not even at OpenAI anymore. John Schulman, one of the big shots, jumped ship in August and headed over to Anthropic. Mira Marathi, the former CTO, and Barrett Zoff, who was VP of Research, both stepped down just before Canvas hit the scene. But here's the kicker. OpenAI doesn't seem phased. At a press event, their chief product officer, Kevin Weil, basically shrugged it off. He's not just confident, he's downright bullish about the future. He thinks 2025 is going to be the year AI goes mainstream in a big way. We're not just talking about fancy chatbots or coding assistants. 
Wiles picturing AI as digital agents going out and doing tasks on their own. Let's peek into the crystal ball and see what's cooking for OpenAI and Canvas. Spoiler alert, this beta version is just the tip of the iceberg. OpenAI's got big plans. They're aiming to make Canvas not just smarter, but downright intuitive. We're talking faster triggers that'll know when you need Canvas before you do. They're also working on cranking up the accuracy for detecting what needs editing. They're hinting at making coding edits more transparent. It's like they want to lift the curtain and show you exactly what the AI is doing under the hood. Now here's where it gets really nerdy, in a cool way. They've trained GPT-4, the brains behind Canvas, with synthetic data. What's that mean? Well, they basically fed it AI-generated data to teach it when to jump in with Canvas and how to make those razor-sharp edits. We're talking over 20 automated evaluations. OpenAI claims this has seriously leveled up how well the model plays nice with both writing and coding tasks. But here's the tricky part. Teaching AI when to make a small tweak versus a total rewrite. It's like teaching a kid the difference between using an eraser and starting a new drawing. They've actually biased the model to only do full rewrites when absolutely necessary, especially with code. Smart move, right? This fine-tuning is crucial. I mean, imagine an over-enthusiastic AI that rewrites your entire essay when all you needed was a comma. Talk about overkill. OpenAI gets it. They know no one wants an AI that goes overboard with edits or decides to play demolition derby with your hard work when a little touch-up would do. All right, let's wrap this up with a bang. The AI world is on fire right now. OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, they're all duking it out. And let me tell you, it's getting hot. We're about to witness some mind-blowing innovations in the next year. It's like the space race, but for AI. Now, if Canvas has got you all fired up, and honestly, how could it not? Here's the deal. If you're on Plus or Teams, go ahead and dive in. Give it a whirl. For the rest of you, don't worry. You're not left out in the cold. Once Canvas graduates from beta, it'll be rolling out to everyone. So keep your eyes peeled. All right, that's all I've got for you today. But before you go, do me a solid. Smash that like button if you found this useful. And hey, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next in this AI roller coaster. Oh, and I'm dying to hear what you think. Drop a comment and let me know. Are you pumped about Canvas? Are you going to take it for a spin? Your thoughts could spark our next big discussion. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Keep innovating. Stay curious, and I'll catch you in the next one. The future of AI is here, folks, and it's looking pretty darn exciting.